Hello and welcome. Today I am going to play Blitzkrieg 1939, 16 Armored Corps, and this is going to be a playthrough of the scenario about the Battle of Sohachev fought at 9th of September 1939. And uh, this is a very special scenario when it comes to this game because it shows the battle that never actually happened. So this is hypothetical scenario. Uh, it is enough to look on the map of Poland, especially uh, uh, Pol map of Poland from 1939, to realize the strategic importance of Sochaczew. It was uh, uh, a gateway uh, to Warsaw, because all the roads and railways coming from the e west to Warsaw were crossing Sochaczew and the river Bzura there. So, it was pretty obvious that this city has, uh, sorry, town has some significant uh, strategic importance. Sadly, it was captured by Germans without even a uh, serious fight, and uh, the lone Polish battalion that was nearby uh, was definitely not enough uh, to defend it. Uh, Pol uh, Poles knew that the Sochaczew uh, should be taken back, and uh, there was an order uh, to the, for the Polish Novogrod Cavalry Brigade to uh, get the city back. But uh, the problem was that uh, commander of this brigade, General Anders, further commander, uh, future commander of the Polish Second Corps uh, in the West, uh, was, we would say, quite independent or uh, rather reluctant to involve his brigade in combat. So. He ignored his order and continued his march north of the town and wasn't eager to attack Sochaczew. While at the same time Sochaczew was defended by the single German regiment. So, was it possible to attack on Sochaczew with a Polish brigade? Well, the strength uh, of uh, both uh, units was equal. Of course, Germans had an advantage when it comes to the firepower, but Poles could also use uh, po uh, Polish uh, Volynian Brigade Cavalry, or rather what, le what, 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 what left uh, from the brigade, because uh, this brigade was involved in heavy combat uh, since the beginning of the war. As you probably remember, it fought uh, during the battles of Mokra, in the Battle of Ostrowy, then in the Battle of Piotrków. And yes, this is what remains of this brigade after uh, all these uh, battles. But even so, it was nearby and, was, and it was also possible to use it. So, uh, there are still debates if such attack would have a chance to success, but if, if Polis would be able to uh, capture Sochaczew, then it would be a very important uh, uh, thing because the shortest uh, way to Warsaw through the river of Bzura would be opened and po uh, Polish forces that attacked uh, Germans uh, in the Battle of Bzura would have their way to Warsaw opened. So, uh, that, uh, this could be something that would probably not de change uh, the course of the entire campaign, but would definitely complicate st uh, some matters for Germans. But, like I said, this never happened and the Germans were able to control Sochaczew in the most important uh, part of the Battle of Bzura. But this scenario allows us to see if it, is, if it was possible. This is one day scenario, so it takes three turns, and when it comes to the special scenarios, we can ignore Supli rules, and Poles have initiative. Also, this Polish battalion could not be used to attack on Sochaczew, because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't his order to be a part of this attack. And now, how about victory conditions? And uh, if uh, one side controls all the hexes of Sochaczew at the end of the game, it, war it wins instantly. Otherwise, each side gains one, uh, uh, one point for each strength point of the enemy units lost, and two points for each hex of Sochaczew being controlled by this side at the end of the game. Okay, let's go and start. So, pause. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. This is secondary road here. One, two, three, four. And now four. Okay, that's all. Now these armored cars. One. Uh, one and half, two, three, and four. Same goes to them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now this group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and seven and these remnants of the Polish Volynian Brigade Cavalry are going to attack here so this artillery moves get the moves there because uh, it has five hexes range so one two three four five it, this should be enough to have Germans in uh, the range of their attack so that's all when it comes to the Polish movement phase and now a German counterattack phase. Do Germans want to uh, launch any counterattack? Hmm, I am thinking if I can use this uh, reconnaissance unit to attack Poles. They are in the clear terrain, but well, I don't think they are strong. Uh, this cavalry unit is strong enough uh, to beat uh, this Poles, so no. And next we can resolve Polish attacks. So let's check. I will start here. And these are the remnants of Volynian Brigade Cavalry, so 3, 6 and 7 versus 5. So no, sorry, 4. Uh, this battalion has a strength of 4, so this is 5 versus 4, this is 1 to 1, 2 to 1 because of the combat engineers and 1 to 1 because of the village. So this is 1 to 1 and seven so uh, no one has to retreat they are staying where they are and now losses Polis had uh, uh, six and minus one because of the village four five oh, wow eleven in the four five one loss for germans and uh, germans had four plus one this is six ten and seven no losses for Polis. okay now the attack on Sochachev so, uh, the Poles have 4, 8, 11, and 15, plus 2. Uh, because this unit moved, so the, uh, this artillery has to half its strength. Uh, so, uh, we have a total of oh, 4, 8, 15, 17. 17 versus 5 will be 3 to 1 and 2 to 1, 1 to 1 because of the town. So it is 1 to 1 and the roll 4. That's great. For Polis, this is B1. So Germans have to retreat one hex. They are moving through the uh, river, so they suffer one loss due to this fact. And Polis. Capture this hex, so that was very lucky attack for Polis because it wasn't easy. They needed five or less uh, to drive Germans out. And now uh, let's check for the losses. Uh, it will be 1620 minus 2, 610. 7 in the 610, no losses for Germans. And Germans had 5 and plus 2, 1115. And 4 in the 1115, one loss for Poles. Nothing impressive really. And now there. Uh, Polish tanks and armored cars are attacking uh, German guns. So they, ha they both have one, so they can uh, attack with a strength of one. Minus one is zero, but this, there is a ta town, uh, so this is minus two. So uh, each of them fires one with minus two. A miss. And miss, while German gun is fires with one, 
uh, uh, one minus three, so two. So one hit, one shot with minus two. Hmm. Let me think. I believe this can be a hit, but I need to make sure. Minus two. No, this uh, uh, this requires two or three. So nothing. And now let's resolve uh, Polish attack. Three, six, and seven versus one because artillery if fights uh, in the uh, direct combat uses only one uh, point so it's seven to one six to one five to one because of the town and five polis have a luck with good rolls five to one and two this is uh, and two to one these are b2 okay so germans have to retreat two hexes and because this is artillery so it suffers two losses uh, for retreat of two hexes. So Poles are moving here and this unit remains there. And now let's check for the losses after combat. Uh, Poles had seven, so six, ten. Minus two, it will be two, three. Now, no losses for Germans. Germans had one plus two, it will be four five. Ten in the four five, one loss for Polis. So this concludes Polish attacks. So Polis did surprisingly well in this uh, battle, uh, capturing. Uh, the entire Sochachev uh, in one swift attack, so you, you can see it was possible to do so. But now Germans. Well, what the Germans can do? They want to get city back, at last some parts of the city, because, well, they cannot capture the entire city back, but... One, two... Um, no. One, two... One, two, three, four five so that's where they go and this battalion goes here so that's uh, that's all when it comes to germans well they cannot do much uh, save to that and now their attacks so i will start here i have uh, this cavalry uh, this reconnaissance cavalry unit has four and this battalion has four, so they have eight. Eight versus two, so it will be four to one. Three to one, two to one, because of the town. Nine. In the two to one, nothing. So Poles are def defending well. So the losses, uh, Poles had two, plus two, six, ten. Nine, uh, six in the six, uh, no losses for Germans. And uh, Germans had seven, minus two, two, three, nine in the two, three, no losses for Poles. And now these two battalions are attacking here, so they have 10 and 11 versus four, so it will be two to one, but uh, one to one and one to two because of the town. 5 in the 1 to 2, nothing. So they remain where they are. Definitely Poles are doing their job uh, amazing. So let's check for the losses. Uh, uh, Germans had uh, 9, 6, 10, minus 2, 2, 3. 11 in the 2, 3, 1 loss for Poles. And uh, Polis had uh, 4, plus 2, 11, 15, and 5, 1 loss for Germans. So this concludes German attacks and turn 1. So after day 1, uh, Polis are holding a big part of the Sochachev, but not the entire Sochachev, and well, if they want to hold, capture the entire uh, town, they have to fight a bit more. Okay, let's carry on with turn two and uh, what Poles are going to do. Hmm. 
Uh, their goal is to uh, uh, hold as many hexes of Sahachev as possible. So I have to uh, fortify at last uh, one of my unit here to make sure I will hold this hex. Now the other group will move here. So they will try to drive Germans off the off here. And now this group will try to force them back. These tanks will go here and this group is going to fortify itself. While them, they are moving here. Why like that? Because I want to drive these Germans off this area. And if they would be uh, here, then these Germans wouldn't be able to retreat. Uh, of course, they would probably suffer some losses, but I think it is safer to simply drive them away instead of uh, in, uh, making them suffer more losses. I can get points for their uh, lost uh, sp strength points as well, but I think it's in the oper operational well way it is easier to simply push them back. Uh, and now my artillery, mm, one, two, three, four, five, so has it has no range, so I will move it like that. Okay, so that's all for uh, Polas. Oh, one more thing. Just to make sure I will fortify my hit headquarter. <coughs> so they are attacking here. And now... One, five, oh sorry, not that brigade, one, uh, four, and eight, and here, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. So they have C seventeen versus eight so this is two to one and three to one because of the combat engineers so this is three to one for polis oh that's a lucky roll ten this is nothing so both sides remain where they are and losses polis had 16 so it's 16 20. wow these are massive losses on german side and germans had 610 for one loss <coughs> for Polis. And the uh, second attack here, I got three, <coughs> and now six, ten, and thirteen. So I have thirteen versus four. No, versus five. But it, it will be still two to one. And five in the two to one, it is B1. So they have to retreat from here. They move there. And uh, since they are moving through the major river, they have to suffer one loss uh, because they are forced to retreat uh, through that river. And now Polis can perform pursue it. So this battalion moves here. They are going to remain there. And now let's calculate uh, the losses. It was 6, 10, uh, oh no, uh, 11, uh, 15 for Polis, for Germans, uh, German losses. 11, 15 and 9, one loss for Germans. And the Germans had 5, so it will be 4, 5 and 5 in the 4-5, no losses for Polis. So this concludes Polish combat phase. Okay, now Germans. Well, I think they lost uh, already, because you can tell that there is no possible for them to uh, size any hexes of uh, Sochachev. 
Well, uh, Poles have simply numerical advantage uh, here, and the Germans haven't enough time to fortify themselves in the town, because if they would fortify themselves in Sochachev, they would probably be able to repulse uh, Polish uh, attacks. But well, so far, uh, they can't do much. Mm. This group won't be able to fight Poles anymore. So they will retreat here, beside the stream. This battalion goes here. And well, that's all. Germans aren't uh, willing to do much, because they, they, they simply don't want to suffer more losses. So this concludes uh, German turn. The Germans not, are not attacking, but their artillery... Uh, well, what, let me think. No, this artillery has only one, uh, one point left, uh, so it cannot even uh, perform an artillery attack on Poles. So, uh, this concludes uh, German actions in the uh, turn 2, and this concludes turn 2 as well. And now uh, we have uh, turn 3. So now uh, Poles are simply taking all the hexes of Sochachev under their, their, their control. They are not even going to fight uh, Germans more because they don't need to. And same to Germans. So this uh, this should uh, co conclude uh, night turn. And I guess Poles won the day uh, definitely. They lost one, two, three, four points. And uh, Germans lost one, one, two, three, four, five and uh, nine so they lost nine points so even uh, if if we would simply uh, check for the losses for both sides then the germans are losing but also they lost all the sahachev so like i said before this it was hypothetical scenario because uh, polish uh, commander of the uh, novogrod cavalry brigade uh, wasn't willing to perform uh, this attack but as you can see it could it could be quite effective, especially in the next uh, day. They would launch their attack on the other side of the river, pushing Germans from here and uh, controlling both sides of the uh, of the city uh, of of the town and the bridge on the Bzura. Then the Polish forces coming from the west would have a clear way to Warsaw. But this could be extremely lucky for Poles, but it never happened. So. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.